Well, I'm gonna eat my breadsticks and my. All right, Will. All right, never mind. I'll have to wait for him to get back. Should we allow wall riding on the last lap? Patrick, shut up, bruh. I'm awake. I'm gonna show myself. Well, that's literally cat, bro. ESMN, I have any right to bully you because you said if Shane Van Gisbergen wins their race, I allow anyone to bully me. So I'm gonna bully you for forever. Yo, Will. You know where I live, right? Look. So. I'll wait for Victor. So, Will, look at the weather on where I live. I will literally yeah, tell you I did not get hit by any rain. Yeah, it's fine. Just look at the general area. Damn right. Everyone join the lobby right now. Christian, Christian and Timmy, I'll tell you when to join. 
Cool. Alright, well, look at your text messages, not on Discord. Like, look at iMessages, Will. You're still gonna get bullied, though. Yeah, I got missed by all of it. It split me. It literally put a circle around me. I've had a killer migraine all day because of it. It's annoying. Yeah, no, I'm if they're saying I'm just going to take a shit before the race starts. Victor, you know you sent that video to me yesterday, like the the car video or whatever. Victor. <laughs> Based.
so weird. Holy shit. This is why I can't have sex. <laughs> oh, I next to the second. He's right here, a nice place. Suck my balls. I shouldn't be saying this on stream. No. I am Rowdy Jenkins. I am a chubby monkey. Well, I, don't, I don't know if Rowdy is, but I'm a, I'm the I'm the chubby monkey. <laughs> I said I'm a chubby monkey, not Rowdy. I shitted faster. I did wash my hands, Marty. Shut the fuck up. Suck my balls. I got bitches. No, my bitch. I know Rowdy. I know Rowdy. He is racist. That's not edited. Oh, he edited the text. Yeah, I love you. Did you guys actually make him have... Christian's gonna be in here. Okay, Christian, I have a... I have a party. Change my username in this more. I want to just. Oh my god. Ugh. It's still. Where the fuck is NASCAR? No, shut up. I need to find NASCAR. Are you guys having a pace lap or no? Are you guys like straight up going? Oh, I'm retarded. All right, goodbye. All right, guys, green flags in the air. I think we're on lap three already, but um, lap three. Oh, Victor sent it in on the 77. I have no idea what the 77 is. I'm actually brain dead right now. But William Reagan's in the lead. Someone just absolutely ate the wall. We might have a crash. Victor and Bassiani around. Your last race is winner at Michigan. Collected at another car is involved as well. Let me see who it is. It's an orange car. It is Walter White. Uh, I think one of them hit the wall. The caution is out. So caution on lap four out of 17. Um, did you did you did Where 
is Christian. Ugh. There he is. We're on Patrick here at this retard. Hi, question. NASCAR. Who is the 23? Who is Ook388? Nah, I mean, I, I don't know. I just need someone for laps, so since you're an official, I, d I don't need, I don't even really need to be in the call myself, but I will. Who is the number 23 in the pits? Me? I'm there, I'm just deafened. Are you start on lap 6, right? Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. But the green flag's back in the air. We have William Reagan and Jacob Reed side by side. Reed's still running that Matt Benedetto custom paint scheme. And Will hangs in when the right rear as we come off a of two. There are three wide for a third nearly down the back straightaway. I think that is Marty in the 77 there. Which is <laughs> running fourth. Side by side with Patrick. Looks like Victor is going to try and split him three wide here as we come off a of four. But nothing there. But they go all the way down to the inside wall. So they fan out into the front stretch. And Jacob Reed now swapping lines with the Will. They're inside and outside crossover now. As they're still side by side as we head down to the back stretch. Um, Patrick Garrett takes the third spot away. Victor fourth. I think that black car is Soren in fifth. He is battling now with Marty for that spot. But the pack for the first has really started to form. Jacob Reed leads that lap. Will Reagan still to the outside of him. Patrick Garrett and Victor also in tow. Patrick to the inside of Will. Jacob clears himself for the lead. Will's going to get a run down the back straight, but has nowhere to go, so he cannot make a run for the lead. As Jacob sends it in the three, Patrick's going to back off. I think Will's going to try and go for another front stretch run. But it looks like they might be three wide, almost three wide, for a second as around the front stretch once again. Will goes for another crossover. He looks inside there. I don't know if he's going to be able to hang with him here on the right rear. He's almost able to. I don't know if he can get the job done. Now he might be under fire from Patrick, but he has his second spot clear. So he's able to focus on getting to Jacob. Lap 10. All right. Will to the inside now. He is fully on the inside of that 25 of Jacob Reed now. Patrick and still right on the back bumper of these guys they battle for the lead and Marty in fifth having a great run so far in that 77. Looks like they hold his ground there. In fifth, he said if he, if I, what did he say if he beat someone this race? I don't even remember. But Will all the way down to the bottom. Oh, <laughs> do you have your audio included in the stream right now? You can include it if you want. I don't mind. Okay. So, Christian's telling me that he will make them a cookie, I guess. If I said that right, if that's exactly what Christian said. But, uh, Will and... Okay. But Will down to the inside of Jacob once again. Looks like he just keeps sending him, but it's not able to get the pass done. But he actually able to, was able to hang on pretty well that corner, better than some of the last corners. So he might be able to get the pass here eventually, but he sends it into three once again. Jacob giving him no room. But they still race it clean. Will bumps him up the track a little bit. And I think we're heading on to lap 13. 
All right, well, here comes Patrick Garrett trying to force a three wide. Doesn't have the momentum to get there yet, but Victor is going to try and make a three wide, and Patrick does try to put his way into three wide <laughs> for the lead here. You don't see this that much, that often, but William Reagan clears his home for the lead as Jacob Reed hits the wall a little bit into three. Patrick is lagging. This is not good. <laughs> but ever since Jacob, Lee or Jacob Reed lost the lead here on lap 14, um, he has struggled to get back to the front, looks like, because he is now under fire from fifth place. So I think that is Walter White, or is that... No, that's Matt Clayton. I couldn't tell from first, so... But yeah, that's Matt Clayton in the fifth spot now. He is um, putting pressure on the 13 of Victor Ambassiani, your last race's winner, and Jacob. But Will and Patrick are starting to pull away now. We're on board. Patrick Garrett here. He only has William Reagan in the sights. If we look behind him here, um, they're still battling pretty well. It looks like Victor bumps Jacob up the track a little bit there. Almost gets him into the wall. But uh, I think Jacob's going to get that drive off. You see Clayton on the outside. Maybe a three wide. Not real, not enough, though, for um, that fourth, or that third spot. But uh, Marty and Soren also hanging in with those two guys in the back as well. We'll look at those guys actually because that battle is way more heated than it is up front at the moment. Um, the Victor and Boss ending that last spot for points for the half as at the line. Jacob Reed has been able to clear these guys, it looks like. And Clayton has been able to get by Victor. So everyone sorted themselves out a little bit now. We're going to be coming up to the pit window in a few laps here. So these guys are going to have to think about what strategy they want to win the stage. Um, we haven't, we've haven't. we always seen that uh, overcuts have worked better than the undercuts, but some races, the undercuts do benefit you if the person gets stuck in lap traffic or something else happens and battling with another driver, bad pit stop. It's really wild. It's kind of almost luck of the draw from the pit stop wise, other than what lap you're going down to the pit road on. It's not really for sure what's going to be the best option every week. Usually you can test the waters out in the first half, and then the second half you can really see what you can do. So then it usually actually makes the end more intense because everyone's still by each other at the end of it. But um, I think we're on lap 20 now. Um, oh, 19? Okay, so we're going to have just under 20 laps to go here in the stage. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before these guys start coming down pit road. That pack behind him still somewhat formed. Jacob re looked inside of Clayton. And actually, Ambassiani got to the inside of Reed. Um, Reed went way up the track, though. On lap 20, 16 or 17 laps to go in the stage. See Clayton in the third spot in the playoffs. One of the most consistent drivers here in the um, OXC. Usually is the one that's able to keep himself out of trouble most of the days. And is able to come up with a top five finish. Hasn't gotten a win though yes this season, but he's still he's still due for a win. But he can he'll I think he'll get there eventually. But those two guys, have, William Reagan and Patrick Garrett, are absolutely gone though. But this battle for third or so still has five cars. Looks like Soren bumps Jacob off the hill. I don't think Jacob's going to be happy with these guys on, on the next race. It looks like he had a um, really fast short run speed, but has been able to has been slowly losing it as we go through these laps in stage one. Um, on lap 22 now, 15 to go. Yeah, I don't know if Jacob's going to be so nice to these guys on a restart. Marty into the wall hard. Um, I don't know if he got spin locked off of four there. I'm surprised he's able to keep it straight. It looks like he was hitting that head on, but... Uh, I don't think they're going to count that as a car, but he definitely lost a ton of ground. Still isn't in last, for what he said earlier. Walter is in last, but, um... Yeah, Matt Clayton's pulling away from these... Wait, what? Oh, he's in the wall again. So, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it looks like these tires are really going to be a factor soon, so these guys are going to have to pit, definitely, within the next few laps, especially if we have people having tire troubles. Looks like Will Reagan is pulling away from Patrick Garrett. Um, I think Clayton was actually... Yeah, Clayton's putting a gap on that pack, though. Victor's also pulling away from 
Jacob and Soren. I think I think Clayton is gaining a little bit on Patrick. Uh, you can't really tell from how far of a gap this is right now. But um, they're running pretty similar laps, I think. But Will is definitely the fastest car at the moment. You should have raced. Yes, you should have. Don't worry, you'll be full time next season for your last year or your last season before you. Uh... Are you going off to the military or something? Victor was telling me. Gotcha. Cool. Sounds fun. I still don't know if I'm doing college yet, so. Yeah. I still don't, I don't like school as a lot, so <laughs> I get that it's school as hell, so. But, um, college is probably worse, especially military college. <laughs> so, um, we gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I always, I actually, that, that thought has crossed my mind. So, I mean, I will go with you on that. It looks like Patrick gets caught back up to Will, though, for the second spot. Around lap 27, though. So that is the 25. That is Jacob Reed. I don't know why it took me so long to remember who drove the 25. But your undercut driver, Jacob Reed. Well, your undercut. Your first undercut goes to Jacob Reed on lap 27. So. That's Soren, yeah. Going down pit road. As well, still Jacob hasn't even got to his pit yet, and they've already been a whole lap around. Just shows how long the pit road here is at Phoenix. So, um, yeah, with that fully black paint scheme of Soren there, also been very actually actually has been doing way better here in the Oaksy in these lately races. I mean, he's still hanging around the top five every race, but I mean, the last few races he's been hanging around the top three, so he's been doing a great job. But um, Jacob's off pit road. William Reagan, your race leader, is on pit road now. So that's your first three cars into the pits here. That m means that Patrick Garrett is your leader as of now. We do got a battle for your current second spot. That is Victor and Matt. So Victor has caught up to Matt. Looks like uh, Patrick did find a little bit more speed in that 52 truck before he went down pit road. So he's going to stay out. That previous lap, he's now in pit road now. So Matt Clayton and Victor and Bastiani, your current race leaders here on lap 29, coming to lap 30. So we're coming to seven laps to go here in the first stage. At Phoenix, um, I'm assuming, I'm going to think, oh, actually, the 25 and the 33 merged on together, so the undercut's not going to work perfectly for Jacob Reed, so technically, if Will gets out in front of these guys, he'll obviously be the leader. These guys are going to be close. So, it looks like the undercut actually didn't work out that well for um, Jacob and Soren. I was about to say, if they beat Will out, then they would be the, the leaders after this all cycles out. But everyone else was taking their pit stops, it looks like. Yeah, Patrick Garrett coming off pit road right now. That's going to be a race to get to whoever has the lead. I, Will's going to take it by a lot, since he had a little bit more of an undercut. That worked out better for Will than it did for uh, Soren and Jacob. But, um, yeah... Patrick has lost a lot of ground. I think he's actually closer to Soren than he is to Will. So, just for a one lap difference, that is a lot. So, another way these uh, pit stops also can be um, different by how they enter pit road. There's no pit road speed. So, everyone's full throttling it into the pits. It also tries to bring in who can really just get onto pit road and arc it the fastest. And if you do it badly, because if Patrick did it badly and that's why he lost that much ground, then that's your result. So, obviously, not getting on the pit road correctly by trying to go too much can always affect you. We've seen some guys miss pit road this season. But um, as we're on lap 32 now, I think we're, we're coming to lap 32, I'm pretty sure. We're coming to 33, okay. So, Matt Clayton. All right. See, so yeah, coming off pit road right now, Matt Clayton. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's the process of taking a mad overcut. Um. With four laps to go on the stage, he is way before or far behind Jacob Reed. We passed a while ago. Um, I don't even know if Walter has pitted yet, but Walter is kind of close to Matt Clayton. But uh, William Reagan's gone. If he doesn't make a mistake here, 
He should be. Unless if Victor and Bastian... Did he take two tires? I think Victor took two tires, and I think he just took the lead. I don't, yeah, I think Victor took two tires, or maybe he took no tires. I don't know. I'm going to need another strategy on that after the stage. But Victor, I think, is out front right now. With two laps to go. I think Will just hit the wall. But, um, oh, we're three to go. Yeah, yeah. If Victor is counting laps, he's the leader, so... I don't know what Victor did, but he obviously did took a very different strategy than Will and everyone else because look at the gap that put on him. I don't know if Will took... I think Will might have took two tires, and I think Victor took none. If I'm going to be straight up honest with you because look how far away... Or look how much Patrick's caught up to these guys, but, or to Will, compared to earlier. and He's been able to really put it in the corner more than these guys. So... I think the strategy did not go well, and I know Will is going to be upset about that because we all know that the only reason why he isn't the actual points leader the entire season is because Victor just wins the stages, especially with the guy with the most wins this season. Um, should have should be the points leader, but he is not. But with one lap to go on the stage now, Victor Mbassiani is your leader, William Reagan second, uh, Patrick Garrett third. I don't think anyone else is going to be moving spots. I think that's... Uh, I think that is... No, that is Soren in fourth. And it's Jacob Reed in fifth, so the overcut did not work out for Matt Clayton. I don't know if these guys just all did, or all took tires, and they shouldn't have, but Victor and Bassiani. Pretty sure just won the stage. And I want to know what kind of strategy was put into that. I know Will, that, that hit in the wall for Will. I know that's frustration from him because he literally won. Or he led, like, every lap nearly, so... Vector only led those couple laps. Um, strategy worked out for him. But um, I don't know why these guys all don't do the same. There's only a very few laps left in the stage. Um, but I guess no one was paying attention enough for that. So good heads up driving by Vector and Bastiani for that. Um, but yeah, that really I can really tell that frustrated Will. Because he's been complaining about that all season about Vector winning stages over bogus reasons. Like, strategy like that, sending people onto the wall, because he's done that a few times. Um, but that's the end of the first half. Um, second half, I'm pretty sure it's a 75 lap race, so. I think we're going to restart on lap 39. 75, so it'll be... 37 to go again, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That was a lot of German. And I only know the last word because it's a cuss word. <laughs> I assumed it was shit. Isn't Scheisse and like Scheisse like a whole lot of different cuss words? I, when I looked on the translator, it was, but I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> well, Victor has pulled away on this restart. Obviously, um, had a really good jump for himself. William Reagan, and I think that is not nah, Patrick and uh. That is Patrick in the 52 and 3rd. But as we head on to turn 3, Victor still has the lead. Will already catching up to him. I think, I, I know Will has a faster car. I mean, just showing that first half. So, I think Will is going to have a way faster car than the majority of the field, at least in the long runs. So... We're on lap 40 of 75, 20, or 36 left to go. Um, but Will's already caught back up. There's still a decent pack for third on back. That's Jacob Reed, Matt Clay, and Patrick Garrett, and Soren. Then it's Marty and Walter for 7th and 8th there. So we head down the back or the front stretch and do a turn number 1. They are very congested here mid-pack. 
for these spots. Um, Patrick is able to clear Soren though. It looks like Marty is into the wall off a of turn two. He's going to lose a spot to Walter as well. Oh, and Will into the wall. Will into the front stretch wall. Dove it way too far down the racetrack. Um, but I did mention that earlier that these guys were flying down there, going maybe a little too low. Obviously, too low for Will. Hit the wall a ton. He's dropped back to the pack of four for third. But he's going to have to make his ground back. We know Will is the fastest car here from the first half. So we'll see if he can be able to catch back up. He's already made some ground back up, which is the funny part. I mean, that just shows how much speed that 55 uh, Ford F-150 has. But as we come off turn two, Victor and Will also running different lines there. On right, lap 43 to 75, 33 laps to go. Yep, and Will has caught back up to Victor about a car length and maybe even less than now as we head into turn three and four. He's all over the back bumper. What? Oh, <laughs> truck length. <laughs> I apologize, Christian. <laughs> as we head into turn one here, Will now taking the outside line, taking a lower line here. He's going to might try and get on the inside here of Victor and Bossy. And he off a two. Victor blocks it, though, as we head down the back surely. Will just showing his pure speed in that 55, though. As he heads into turn number three. Um, is he going to be there? He is on the inside of there of Victor and Bassiani. Can he clear him as we get off into turn one? Does not hit that inside wall, so he's able to drive it fully into three. And he's clear on entry, but I don't know. I think Victor's going to hang with him here. And he does. Victor's going to hang with him here. Not giving him much room to breathe. Or if it was any less, it could have been into the pits but Victor clears him back so um but Will moves him up out of the way a little bit of contact there from the 55 and the 13 but Will backs off but as we head on lap 47 it is Victor Bassietti Will Reagan then you got Patrick Garrett I think that's Jacob Reed Matt Clayton and Soren that's your top six. Will just going to have to try and find a way to get around Victor. He knows he's faster. Just got to play his cards right. Don't get wrecked by him because you know Victor plays very aggressively on lap 48 of 75. Just under 30 laps to go. But yeah, Will takes a really high line. He's really going for the back or the straightaway runs as he's going to drive off the corner down the back straightaway. I'm actually very surprised that Victor has been able to pull away from the field himself. I know partially that was because he had a, he was the leader on the restart. Will's just trying to play catch up, and on lap 49, he is still all over the back bumper of that 13. I know Victor is gonna be pooping himself right now, just like I was before the race. But um, their battle for third is still on. <laughs> But as we head into three and four, um, Will's still over the back bumper. I wouldn't watch a battle for third if there wasn't a battle for the lead. I'm just waiting for Will to pounce and just send the absolute crap out of Victor. But I don't know if he's just playing a tire game or what, but he had, but I mean, we know he's faster. I, and you can tell some laps, he's absolutely just pulling it to his rear bumper and then just, I don't know if he just has bad corners or he backs off. But as we head into three though, um, That's what I'm thinking. I think he's letting Victor use up his stuff because he knows how much faster he is. But still trying to apply the pressure. On lap 51 to 75. We got 25 laps to go here at Phoenix, guys. The battle for third is still on. But, um... So we head off a turn two down the back straightaway. The battle for third still um, is on, yeah. And Clayton looked outside on Patrick, but those guys, I mean, are bumper to bumper. Like it's like, like they're pack racing. 
as we head off into one. I think Will knows what he's doing. I think, I think he, yeah, I, I think I know what the strategy Will is putting up right now. And if I want to be honest, I, I, I think we all know what's going to happen. We, we know from prior history this season that Victor does Mickey his way into these stage wins. You know Will is going to be very frustrated about it. But um, I definitely can tell you right now that a 55 is going to be trying the strategy Victor did. And he's going to stay out probably as long as he can, take no tires, and just try and get his way to the finish. Um, definitely worked out for Victor last um, last run, but it's Victor has been using up his tires way more. Will has been just applying the pressure the entire time, just literally running all over the rear bumper. Just not really making much move for the lead, unless he's going for it right now. He all, I thought he did for a second. Looks like he might have been outside. But, um, yeah, I don't think Will is using up his tires as much as Victor is. And I, I definitely tell you he's probably going to do the same thing Victor does. But side by side for the lead, as I say that, Will going for the lead here as we ended a three. And he cleared it. Wow. He sent it and cleared it. Victor tried going for a crossover. He is there. But how much room does Will give him? And he gives him a lot of room. He's still clear for the lead, though. And that just shows you how fast William Reagan is, because it wasn't much of a challenge for him to get by Victor. And maybe Victor's going to hang with him now. But to get clear, it only took one corner for William Reagan. And he's gone by a couple of car lengths already. William Reagan is off in the lead. I think he's starting to see that their lap times were getting slower. He wants to pull away from Victor. This would also help his strategy to work out to see if that no-tire strategy will work for him. Because he's already pulled away by three car lengths on Victor. Victor is... I mean, you can see how much Victor is using his tires. Though. He's sending it hard into the corners. But I think Will is going to pull away at some point if Victor... If the if the draft gets broken, that's when that's when it's going to really start showing how much ground Victor is going to be losing every lap. Will drives up a little bit high there. Does he keep it off the wall? He does. Onto lap 57 of 75 now. It is still a two-horse race and the four bat car or four truck excuse me battle for third is still on there's still bumper to bumper back there but it's still Patrick Garrett to the point of those three and Victor puts the bumper to will there you can actually see the shake of or the shake from uh, the car movement from the camera on that to well, I don't know. I, I think, but look at how much ground he gains once again. I mean, Will gains about three car lengths on the straightaway there, and then Victor gets it all back. So I don't know if Will's still taking the tire game safe, but just being in the lead. I mean, you can tell Victor really used the tires up there, having to go way high, and he lo and he paid the price for it. I mean, man, he's lost a ton of ground now. He, I think he's out of the draft now. But Will all the way up against the wall. Victor skimmed it. A little bit of a spark coming off there. But they're catching on the lap traffic now. I don't know if Walter has pitted. But he is off the racing line. So yeah, Walter has pitted. Confirmation from uh, Nat, uh, Christian. But on lap 59, though, we are coming to 16 laps to go here on the lap 60. William Reagan, your race leader. He is pulling away from Victor and Bastiani now. Really starting to show that he has a better speed than Victor. I mean, we knew he had the long, uh, we had the, he had the long run car. But he's really starting to show it. Here as we head into turn number one and two. <laughs> Fifteen laps to go here at Phoenix and William Reagan. Still putting on a gap to Victor and Bastiani. We're going to check on that battle for third actually because this is... So, or that battle has been separating. Matt Clayton, oh my god, what a send to Patrick Garrett. It's not going to be able to, I don't think, get him on the exit. But those guys have started to spread out. Soren going with the undercut once again. Soren also really known for his undercuts here in the OXC. I don't, I don't know any other driver that does it more than him, to be honest with you. Maybe Will. But uh, I think Will's going to go for the overcut here. I think he's going to try and stay out as long as he can. Really just got to pit about a lap or two after Victor. And I think if he pits a lap or two after Victor, then he's secured. But he's gonna. But he probably has saved up way more tire wear than Victor has because he's not even driving off the corner as much as Victor is. Victor is struggling to keep up with William Reagan here as we come to lap 63 of 75. 
And even with Victor struggling to even keep up with Will, it's still just making him put on more, uh, make the gap bigger and bigger every lap. And it looks like it might be nearly out to a second now. Maybe a little bit less. But Will is pitting. William Reagan is pitting. He is pitting early, and he had a really shallow entry. But uh, Matt Clayton goes with them. I don't know if this is a smart idea to go like this. But um, I think if Victor wants to go no tires, this actually helps Will out more since there's more laps left in the run. But uh, their current race leader would be Victor and Bastiani. I want to see how this shakes out for Will, so I'm going to stay on Will here. Matt Clayton also did pit with him, so let's see what the strategy plays out here. And I got word that Victor and Bastiani pitted. And I actually didn't see that, but Patrick Garrett also pitted. So yeah, everyone in full force here on pit road right now. Um, Victor and Bastiani also pit. And Jacob Reed has also... Uh, might have went down to pit road. Is that him in the back? No, it is not. I think? Maybe? The 25 of Jacob Reed has. I don't think Jacob has pitted yet. So I think Jacob's going for the overcut right now. But, um... William Reagan just coming off pit road right now. I don't know where Matt, Matt Clayton is. Matt Clayton's out in front of Will Reagan. Matt Clayton. Oh, no, Will. Oh, my God. Oh, and I think we got a spin on pit road. Um, Something's wrong with Marty's car. He is stuck in the pit road animation in the pits, but his car is, like, messed up. Um, I don't know if he's supposed to be. I don't I don't know what that's all about. But um, assuming Soren might be the race leader. Actually, no. I think... Victor and Bassiani had did the strategy again. Because he is well far out front of these guys. Maybe even took four tires, but I don't know where I don't know what happened to Will. I mean I really don't. Because he is seconds behind Soren. And Victor and Bassiani is gone. I think Victor might have took no tires. But I don't I don't really know what I don't really know what the strategy is between these guys. Because you don't I mean even when you're on the pit road, we can't tell what kind of strategy you're taking because heat five sucks. But, um, all these guys, I mean, for position, I mean, really didn't, I mean, it didn't change up here. Other than Will. And, I mean, Will has lost, I think he's about to be out of the top five. He is in fifth right now. The only car behind him is Patrick, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know what that was all. Um, yeah, where is Patrick? Yeah, Patrick's behind Will. So, with seven or eight laps to go now, um, I, I think Victor has won the race. I don't know what he, what kind of strategy he's taken. But whatever strategy Will took, it obviously has screwed him over. Because when I'm looking on the follow on the far follow cam from Victor, I don't I, Will isn't even rendering in for me. So, that's how far behind Will Reagan is. The battle for second now is on between Matt, Jacob, and Soren. But I know those guys aren't going to catch up to Victor because Victor has been out longer than they, or has less than they have. And we're coming to seven to go right here, I think. And wow, um, well, I, out of pure anger, it looks like to what happened, William Reagan has forfeited the race. Um, he is, yeah, he left. I would like to know what happened there with that 55 team. Um, looks like maybe Marty has also left the race. But I really don't know what happened to Will that caused him to have that much of a... We, I mean, we followed him down pit road. He had no problem getting on pit road. I just wonder if his strategy is just not working out for him. Um, really thought he would have learned from stage one and just stayed out as long as he could. Had the fastest long run car, I wouldn't see why not. But um, we head off a of turn number two and we head down the back stretch here. Victor and Bastiani is just putting more of a lead here with five laps to go. Looks like it's going to be an easy run home for him today. It looks like these guys won't catch up to him.
three laps to go now. And Bastian is still putting on a gap to these guys. Uh, the gap isn't really shrinking or getting bigger. It's pretty even though, I will say so myself. But, um... I, I think Patrick's going to be a secured fifth place. I don't know what happened to him either. He has lost touch of the pack in front of him. I don't know if these guys just all didn't take tires, and he did. But it's not really benefiting anyone at all. I mean, it's... I mean, we're even looking at Patrick, and he hasn't really gained anything on these guys if he took more tires than, these, than the guys in front of him. But with two laps to go and coming to the white flag, it is Victor Ambassiani who has just put on a clinic with pit strategy. His pit strategy has worked out the best compared to anyone else. But with the white flag in the air this time by, Victor Ambassiani is still pulling away from the rest of the field. With his pit strategy working out. Might not have been the fastest car today, but he's definitely had the best strategy today. And that's gonna get him that's what's gonna get him the win here today at Phoenix if he's able to bring it home free down the back stretch and then a turn three and four for the final time here at Phoenix. Victor Ambassiani is gonna win here at Phoenix, and it's gonna be his third win in this season in the OXC. Victor gets it done, second place behind him. Jacob Reed gets second, Matt Clay in third, Soar in fourth. Patrick Garrett, let's see, might have crashed across the finish line in fifth. I think Walter is going to finish sixth here today as well. William Reagan and um, Marty all uh, rage quit, so. I, I think, uh, yep, and there is the finish for Walter. Victor Ambassiani gets it done here today at um, Phoenix. I, want, I would really want to know what happened with Will, so. Did you include your audio just for that? talking to me oh <laughs> I was like I don't know <laughs> is everyone in here I guess, all right, so I guess we'll start off with um, your race winner here today. Victor Ambassiani gets it done here um, two in a row, I think, for you now. Um, how did what, what kind of strategy did you do here today to get yourself the win? Obviously, it was different from William Reagan's, and that's what's got you the win today. So I didn't think it was going to work, but we were really fast on the long run tonight. So I decided, oh, let me just see if two tires can happen, because I was running fourth, I think, in the first half. I was like, hey, let's see what happens. And uh, we take the halfway one. I was like, wow, that can work for like ten, nine to ten laps. So uh, 
the rest of the top four all uh, copied what I did there because they all saw, hey, uh, we can take the position away from guys that take four tires and they won't be able to catch us because it was like a 2-10 difference. Um, but just a really great race from this 13 team. Didn't think I was going to win. No, I like I had no plan on winning, but as soon as we got the track position in the clean air, we're able to pull away and uh, win with the two-tire strategy. And uh, these next two guys also followed me in that footstep, and uh, they passed up for second and third. So congrats to them, and uh, thank you so much, Timmy, for uh, broadcasting this one. This was this was a really cool race for me. I haven't won at Phoenix uh, in t about two years, so that was cool. Well, congratulations to you, Victor and Bastiani. So that means I don't really have to ask what uh, Jacob Reed and Matt Clayton did with their strategy because you just told me what they did themselves. But Jacob Reed um, ran home in P2 here today. Kind of take us through what you uh, did to bring home P2. I know you did take an overcut strategy, I think, to uh, at the rest of the field. But, um, yeah, how did you do it? Well, we were very tight in mid before the mid portion of the race. Oh. Uh, Wait, sorry. Oh, well, I'm good. Uh, what were you saying, Jacob? We were very tight to start off the race. So, like, the first few laps, we didn't make an adjustment because before the first caution, we didn't get enough of a chance to see what our truck was like. And then we just slowly started fading, and then we were the first one to pit, uh, got the truck loosened up a little bit, and then... It was on from there, and then we got to the last run. There was four of us in the group the entire time with the top two out in front, and we just waited until the perfect time to go take two tires, and then we cycled out in third because, I mean, unfortunately, Will took four, and then he unfortunately had a, bit, had a mechanical issue. Um, and then we battled with the 24 truck. Big respect to everyone that we were racing with tonight. Yep, a very good job for you today, bringing it home P2. Um, next up in your interview, we, or your last interview here today, Matt Clayton in the 24. Um, stayed very consistent with these guys all throughout today. Did a very good job bringing it home P3. Kind of just like take us through um, your like thought through your strategy here today. I know you guys did the same thing as uh, P1 and P2 though. So, Well, I, I knew I wasn't going to get top three if I didn't take two tires at the end. So I decided to do that, and uh, then once I mean the 24 just had a real good battle towards the end, but I just kept getting held up by other cars all race. It was hard to pass. I was gonna say it looks really rough to get by people today. Um, I know you guys also battled with Soren there for fourth, but um, I was noticing that pit strategy. If you even took four tires, it wasn't really working out for anyone at all. But um, very smart of you guys to at least follow Victor's footsteps and take two tires and still be able to secure a very good finish today. Um, congratulations to all three of you guys today. And that's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for Will. Like, legitimately feel bad for Will. Well, that's why Phoenix sucks, man. I... then those votes shouldn't count, Victor. That's kind of the point. Oh, uh, I can tell you Patrick paid the price for wanting Phoenix. And slow. I was watching you and Will the entire time. I'm surprised he didn't do the same strategy you did. I don't know why... I don't... I don't... Yeah. 
<laughs> That's really funny. I assumed you were just out front on the first tab because I was like, "Where? Where? where How would you end up so far ahead?" I just, yeah, I am. Do you want me to end it? Yeah. Well, they can hear you. So yeah, follow the socials all on uh, XRA on Instagram, uh, and just follow me on Twitch and join the Discord. I don't know if it's on the Instagram or not, but yeah. Bye guys.